Hello! Today I'm going to be showing you all how to make um, a very fast one stroke snake. And I'm going to show you in three different colors. Classic green, pink and red, and then this this one here that almost every face painter has in, in their kit, some of these colors. The brushes I'll be using are a three quarter inch angle brush, a number eight filbert, a half inch flat, and a number three round for black and white. I'm also using um, red and yellow. First I'll show you how I paint it. I will show you my fastest snake, which is just this green red and black and white. It's all finished. That is how I do my fast snakes. Okay, I'll show you on the mannequin head now. I always place the snake head here and then do the wiggles all around the eye. I put the snake on arms too and if it's on an arm I usually put it because the arm is facing this way. I usually put the head up here with the body going down. Okay. Here's where I put it. Use the corner of the brush for the eye, the tip of the brush to outline. And then do a little swoop out. I'm focusing mostly on the tip of the brush to create an outline and I lay it flat whenever I need to fill in color. And I swoop down. This is the shape of a snake mouth. Kind of like a, um, a mouse trap. <laughs> it is a mouse trap. Oh, that's terrible. And then I usually, I, I let them know that I'm gonna do the wiggly part now before I do this, because I, I paint this very quickly on the job. Anyways, and then I do the wigglies around and kind of use more of the tip. I flip it up to use mostly the tip of the brush here for the end part. 
And then I lay the back of the jaw in like that. Usually bigger and then smaller. And the bottom jaw is very small. I hardly put anything on there. Just connect it to the back end there. Next is the red for the mouth. I always, this brush, I only use this brush for um, red. I have a half inch flat just for red and just for white. And those are the only two half inch flats that I have. Um, and then my angle flats I use for every other color. Then I just do a little swoop for the mouth just like that. And this is when I add my glitters. And then black and white. And I know I splatter uh, paints in a lot of my videos. If you have more time, a nice thick splatter of black looks awesome. If you angle it in this direction where the body of the snake is going, it's kind of like, um, I think of it as kind of like graffiti style. Um, then I give it the eye and outline. I try to do it just a little bit thicker in the back. And then um, I push down and flick down. I push and flick down for the shape of the eye. But snake eyes have so many different um, shapes. They, they, they can be round. I just normally do this um, teardrop there. And then I do a bit of outlining. This is this bump right here is meant to be the other eye. And I just do kind of light outlining all around here. And then I push my brush down inside the mouth and do the tongue right away. Otherwise, I'll forget to put the tongue down. <laughs> Oops. Um, and then do the jaw. We'll swoop, swoop. And then the rest of it, I am kind of looking at the shapes that I created with the brush. And I do follow that a bit with lots of thin to thick. And then wiggles up here. That's all the black line work. <laughs> I, I like painting this way. Um, I don't... I find a lot more joy in it. I find a lot more freedom in it. Um, I find that it has the right amount of structure in the right places. Like, it is a snake. Um, but the rest of it can be more loose. And then for white... Uh, the white is the fangs. Fangs are very important. They add a lot to the painting. And then I put a dot in the eye, a little swoop at the front, and I wipe off quite a bit of the paint so I can do a, a thin outline all the way around the eye. And then I just put some highlights there. Here and there, I do some cross-hatching X-type movements to, um, I don't, well, I guess create kind of a scaly look. Um, and sometimes I'll do a loose second outline around the painting itself. It depends. It depends on the person's skin tone or um, how much time I have or how I'm feeling. <laughs> And that is the snake. That's where I place it on the head. If I want the eye to be yellow, um, and I'm using a one stroke that doesn't have yellow, then I just use my little filbert. So I start with the eye. You can poof some sparkles in it. I like um, the sparkly eye. Lead with the dark.
as soon as you add line work, black and white, everything in detail, it makes such a huge difference. Especially, I think especially to the eyes. I like giving it this outline because I just think it makes the, um, makes the eye pop. And you can see, I'm not worried about um, staying in the line. But that's kind of the style at the same time. <laughs> so it may not look great on, on all designs. There it is in the, that color. And now in one of my favorite colors to do the snake in. Pink. There she is. Okay, that's all for snakes. I hope y'all love them. I hope y'all love them as much as I do. And I hope you have fun painting them. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.